outrage at Stanford University now spreading across America. This is a miscarriage of justice. Uh, I really think that something should happen to the judge. I know they're moving for a recall. January 2015, two graduate students at Stanford see this man, Brock Turner, then a swimmer at Stanford, raping a 23-year-old unconscious woman behind a dumpster outside a campus fraternity party. If my daughter were the victim of this, I'd be livid. The graduate students take action, chasing Turner and pinning him down for the police. But the story doesn't stop there. At Turner's sentencing, he faced up to 14 years in prison. But Judge Aaron Persky giving the convicted rapist six months behind bars. Yes, only six months for three felony counts of sexual assault. The judge's reasoning? The rape carried, quote, less moral culpability because Turner was drunk at the time of the attack. I think this lenient sentence is a complete injustice. And get this, the defendant's father writing, his life will never be the one he dreamed about and worked so hard to achieve. That is a steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action. Calling the rape 20 minutes of action created a firestorm on social media. See how she reacted and the effects of those 20 minutes on her life. It just shows the amount of ignorance. And today, total outrage, more than 600,000 people signing this petition supporting the removal of Judge Persky. I think six months is absurd, and Judge Persky has no business being on the bench. That sends a message to everybody across this country. Go drink, and you can sexually assault a woman, and then you can use alcohol as a defense to lessen your sentence. Join us, one of the two Stanford graduate students who helped stop that horrific rape. Carl Frederick Arndt goes on the record. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, thank you for joining us. And tell me, um, what happened that night? Take me back to that night and tell me where you were, what you saw. Sure, it was me and a friend, Peter. We were biking. Um, we were right outside this fraternity house, essentially, and we saw a couple. Um, my friend started noticing that something seemed weird. When we looked closer, we could see that the girl clearly wasn't moving while the male was. Then we stopped, started discussing it. Then my friend Peter took action and started approaching it. I walked behind him. We essentially called the guy out. Um, after a while, after a brief like, conversation, the guy decided to run. Uh, my friend Peter chased after him. Then uh, I quickly tended to her and then helped Peter restrain him until the police came. What was that first brief conversation that you had before he ran? What did he say? I don't want to go too much into detail of that. It's in the um, statement from the court. Sorry. Did he seem But he essentially drunk was saying you? that he wasn't doing it. No. He didn't seem drunk to you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he could run. So I mean, I guess that answers the question. When, when you he first approached without slurring when, at all. When you first approached him and you were talking to him before he took off running, was the woman was she standing or was she lying on the ground? Was she was moving? What was going on with her? So like I said, she wasn't moving at all. She was that's why we approached him initially. And then when I first attended her, she I like tried to shake her up, nothing happened. Um, I shaked that she was alive and then essentially went over there. But yeah, she was never moving. Was she closed? Was she what, sorry? Clothed. She, was oh, she wearing clothes um, at that point? I mean, sure, yeah, I mean, like you could read in the court statement, she, she had a dress, but it was pulled up. Did, and did the, uh, the man who took off, who we now know as a defendant, did he say anything about her at all? Not really, no. Did, uh, did he say? Did he say that uh, you know that he knew her? Did he give you any indication he even knew this woman or what was what was going on with her that she wasn't moving? No. Uh, did uh, what did he say before he took off running? Like I said, I want to talk about details. Sorry. Okay. Um, what uh, did you call the an ambulance? What happened to the young woman? So another, after a while, more people came to the scene. Um, then I talked to them, and we decided jointly to call the police. And then Ablins came as well, I guess. Since um, I restrained him, I could not see exactly what happened. All right. So in order to restrain him, did you have to chase him and, and, and grab him, or did he surrender to you? 
So like I said, my friend Peter cut him down and then restrained him at first. Then I helped Peter restrain him because he tried to get loose. Uh, you know he's been sentenced to six months in jail. you have any thought about that sentence and whether it's a, a fair one or too harsh or too lenient? Don't want to comment on that, sorry. Uh, what's this experience been for you? What's it been like? I mean, it was a horrible thing to experience, obviously. It would be for anyone. It was very shocking and disturbing at first, I'd say. It's something I've thought about a lot and I'll bear with me for a long time. Not in the same way as they will, but it's still something that's, that's horrible to experience, I'd say. Have you ever met the woman since then? Have you talked to her? I've not, no. How's your friend doing who is with you? I think he's doing okay. I don't want to comment about too much about him either, sorry. Oh. Why, why, do you, why have you agreed to talk to us? Um, and I don't, I don't mean to be you know, harsh, but you agree to talk to us, but you don't want to talk about it. I'm confused. Sure, uh, sure, yeah. So I, I think this is an important issue, and it seems like people appreciate it when it comes out, and it sounds like it's, it's a big problem in general in the U.S. I don't want to make personal statements about it because I don't think that's up to me, but I still think that the issue is clearly worth highlighting. Uh, what's the reaction on campus to this? Obviously, people are very upset about it, clearly. Have you seen the petition to, to, uh, for the judge to step down? I have. Uh, are, are people talking about it on campus, whether are other students saying he should or should not step down? I haven't been that much on campus the last couple of days, so I can't really say. To be honest, I've been away. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I mean, I do know that this has been extremely painful for you and difficult for you. Um, uh, this young woman uh, owes you a lot of gratitude, and so do the rest of us that you stepped up and did this, you and your friend. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Thank I'm glad you. to help, obviously. It's, I think anyone else should do the same. Thanks. Well, you're a very nice, uh, very nice man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you.